Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. I'm Mariah. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel. Here I'm discussing health, detox, and how to heal thyself in current worldly events. So I wrote a blog post today on hand sanitizers. I researched the ingredients. I want to share with everybody why we should not be using these harmful, harmful concoctions. Hand sanitizers are all the rage these days. It seems that people cannot get enough of them. Under the guise of protection from a virus, these sanitizers have become a commodity in the eyes of the general public. After studying the ingredients in the most popular brands, I can't help but wonder, are they addictive? In addition to being extremely harmful to one's health, are people actually craving these harmful health degenerating uh, substances? I've instinctively avoided hand sanitizers throughout my life. Uh, they reek of chemicals and synthetic fragrances. It's basically headache material. On two occasions recently at two separate store locations, um, it's been mandatory to slather these hand sanitizers on oneself in order to enter the store. So this is generally when I walk right up to the pumping station. I go through the motions. I pretend to pump it, rub it into my hands um, as if I'm using them. Uh, we are all pretending after all. I mean, if the official story was entirely accurate, the safety measures that are put forth um, for the general public would not protect anyone against anything. Anyway, so sometimes you need to pick your battles. I've tried educating the employees and store owners on why I will not rub chemicals into my skin but they do not seem to care and it often results in non-entry or I have to walk around the store not, in, not allowed to touch anything and they follow you around and watch you and it's just invasive and weird. Um, so I value my health and I care about that which I allow to absorb into my bloodstream. So personally I only use fruit juices, aloe vera and my homemade herbal moisturizers. That's, that's the only thing I'm going to put on my skin. I'm not putting anything else on my skin. So please stop to think about that which you're accepting as normal practice. It's extremely harmful to one's health to be absorbing these toxic hand sanitizers or to breathe the vapors. I finally researched most of the ingredients in the brand Purell along with the alcohol-free brands which are used and pushed at every public turn. These days, the majority of people are living in fear and they're afraid of germs and invisible airborne virus. Um, so the solution? They spray harmful cleaners, disinfectants on every surface and they rub toxic substances all over their skin, absorbing these chemicals directly into their bloodstream. Hardly sounds like a solution to me. Many individuals use hand sanitizers and then touch food or eat food immediately after. Have you thought about that which you are now consuming? Consuming hand sanitizer can lead to weakened immunity and alcohol poisoning, which is kind of counterproductive, don't you think? Isn't this whole scenario supposed to be about public health? And if so, why is every measure of safety adopted by the masses causing additional harm to one's health? These hand sanitizers contain acidic chemicals. The blood must maintain its precious pH within a specific range at all costs. So what do you think the body must do to counteract and to compensate for the chemical storm that is breathed and absorbed directly into the skin? These days, I am in serious contemplation uh, regarding the mindset of the general public, really. Fear causes people to make irrational decisions, which is so clearly demonstrated around us. So here are most of the ingredients um, listed in one of the most popular brands, Purell, and the alcohol-free versions of hand sanitizer. So we've got the ingredients. We've got Car Bomber. Car, car Bomber. Refer, re, ah, 
can't talk. Carbomer refers to a series of polymers that are derived from acrylic acid. Carbomer is a large molecule that has the ability to absorb and retain large amounts of water. In skin care, carbomer is used as an emulsifier to help stabilize and thicken solutions with different ingredient solubility. That doesn't sound too bad. Well, then I looked up acrylic acid since it's derived from acrylic acid, and this is what I found. Acrylic acid is known to be irritating to human skin and may cause allergic reactions. Acrylic acid is a synthetic polymer used as a binder and film former in dyes, adhesives, permanent press fabrics, and now skin creams. Toxic by absorption. I don't know about you, but this ingredient alone is enough to make me steer clear of hand sanitizers. Then we've got fragrance. Fragrant gets a free pass under the law. It is, only, it is the only ingredient that's allowed to hide under a cloud of rose petals and doesn't have to say what it really is. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, fragrance is the biggest cause of cosmetic dermatitis. It's up there with nickel and poison ivy, which most people know how to avoid. Can we say hormone and endocrine disruptors? So then we have aminomethylpropanol. This substance belongs to a group of irritants, allergens, and environmental hazards, etc. We have isopropanol myristate, myristate. While the panel deemed it safe, research shows that there's a small chance of skin irritation, clogged pores and acne inflammation. In one report, 5% of participants reported having such side effects. Nonetheless, they say isopropanol mystrate is not considered to be carcinogenic. And I say, well, that's a relief. They do not consider it cancer causing. Although there's a chance of causing skin irritation, acne, inflammation, and clogged pores, we find these types of statements everywhere these days. Bottom line, if a substance harms one, in, if a substance harms one individual, it harms all individuals to various degrees, even if their body does not express the signs of toxicity immediately. If any substance is causing side effects, it is indicative, indicative that it is not safe and the body is attempting to expel these toxins through the skin or any other eliminative channels. Some individuals are so backed up, dealing with major lymphatic stagnation and constipation that their body has a difficult time with even eliminating toxins. That's uh, when you get into some serious health issues. Then we have ethyl alcohol and isopropanol alcohol. Isopropanol alcohol is readily absorbed through the skin, so spilling large amounts of isopropanol alcohol in the skin may cause accidental poisoning. Small amounts is generally not dangerous according to them, but repeated skin exposure, everyone using hand sanitizers is a repeat customer, can cause itching, redness, rash, drying, and cracking of skin. Prolonged skin contact may cause corrosion. Now that sounds wonderful. You know, alcohol is damaging and it's dehydrating. So a lot of toxic substances are bioaccumulative and cause damage to whole body with repeated use and exposure to whole body, especially the liver over time. In small amounts, the body may not outwardly react. However, when the body does finally react in a skin rash, for example, this is indicative that the body must expel it at all costs and the skin, which is our third kidney, is used to eliminate the toxins, likely because our kidneys are compromised at that point and so uh, the body uses other eliminative channels. So then we have glycerin. I will list just a few reported side effects associated with the use of glycerin. We've got excessive bowel activity, cramping, rectal irritation, and cramping rectal pain. Sounds lovely. Then we have triclosan. If a hand sanitizer does not contain alcohol, it likely contains triclosan instead, which is an active ingredient in pesticides and a powerful antibacterial agent, which is highly toxic and it is readily absorbed by the skin, which can cause directly affect thyroid function and can cause damage to muscles and liver and arguably other organs and glands. Additionally, most hand sanitizers are highly flammable Flammable. It says so right on the bo bottle. It says, warning, keep away from heat and flame. 
It also comes with a warning to avoid contact with eyes and broken skin. In case of eye contact, you need to flush with water and seek medical advice. I've already read the horror stories involving hand sanitizers. You could just do a search. And because these hand sanitizers are extremely flammable, anyone who is cooking, using a barbecue, or smoking is at risk for serious injury. <laughs> it's actually quite comical if you look at it from another perspective that people are rubbing these all over their skin. <laughs> In conclusion, these hand sanitizers that a large majority of the population is generously rubbing into their skin and the chemicals disinfectants that are sprayed regularly over most surface surfaces to disinfect are causing a great deal of harm to the health of the user and the health of anyone who happens to be in close proximity. Please do yourself a favor and society a favor and educate yourself on the harmful effects of hand sanitizers and the harm uh, wearing mask causes while you're at it because that's uh, no picnic, you know. You're causing a lot of harm to your own health if you choose to wear a mask. And if you are truly afraid of the outside world, I would say that is when maybe you should stay home. For the rest of us, it's time to ed end the madness it's time to stop listening to the general advice put forth by the public health officials and mainstream media outlets because they have clearly demonstrated that they know little about health at all. This is not my new normal and I hope that you can find the confidence and the courage to stand up in the face of ignorance that is currently plaguing societies all over the world today. So please speak up, people. Um, we need more of you. We need more of you speaking up and speaking out um, because most people would rather just keep their head down, not cause any sort of scene, and just accept that which is harmful in order to avoid facing any confrontation. Well, the time for confrontation is now. We need to wake people up and it's simply um, unacceptable to accept harmful um, acts to one's health and freedom. So thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. And that inspires me to make more videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.